My apologies for the delay. Just the gal we need! What's the word, Claire? Well, it took longer than I'd hoped, but this information came directly from our sentries near the border. They confirmed that Crossbell's new Supreme Leader never left the state while C was active. Then he wasn't lying. Yeah, there really are two Rufuses. But how is that possible? It isn't. It's preposterous, even. Or so I would say had we not seen him in the flesh. He played us enough to be the real thing. He sure did. First he calls himself C and sets things up so we'd make our way to the capital. Then he gets us to take care of that coup for him, while he gets away with whatever info the EDF provided him. Using every means at his disposal has always been his way. And this was no exception. Then are we in agreement that the Rufus and Crossbell isn't the real one? The evidence seems to point that way at present. Perhaps it is also my hope that it points that way. I doubt it, since I'm inclined to agree. Rufus acting the way the Supreme Leader does after what he went through doesn't make as much sense to me. You had to have had an effect on him in some way at the Imperial Fortress, Yusus. I would like to believe that as well. Have you learned anything more about the three children accompanying him? We're still looking into them, I'm afraid. 
I know our side can't talk, but they were strong as hell for being kids. All I can confirm from my end is that no record of them exists in the Intelligence Division's database. To wonder Crown for even the ID to pin down means it'll be extra tough for us. It's best to assume they and whoever was controlling the airship are hired help. It should have been impossible for your friends to win. Uses, members of Class 7, please, tell me why. It's because you refuse to rely on anyone but yourself. We won't be getting anywhere wondering what he's up to here. I propose we move on using the one lead he provided. If you wish to know what befell the Courageous Two, make for the Nord Highlands. Do you feel you can trust his word enough to warrant going to the Highlands, Reen? If anything else, I did get the impression that he is actively against the Supreme Leader. There's likely some ulterior motive behind telling us that lead, but Eusis is right that we should use it. Especially if there's any chance we can help Crossbell in the process. Hmm. I respect your decision, of course, but... <sighs> Some of us will have to remain in the capital. The aftermath of the coup d'etat requires some attention before it can be considered resolved. I'll stick around for it. May as well see it through. It'd be good to hit up the Entertainment District and the Bracer Guild for info while I'm here too. Gaius is in the middle of an investigation of his own in Nord, I think. There should be enough people if you meet up with him and anyone else who's up east. Musei is also planning to travel from the branch campus to join him. But will that be enough under the circumstances? Then will we suffice? Huh? Kurt! And... Hello there again. Sounds like you've been making some headway into the investigation. About your lead. Since our father is still occupied in the West, we will be accompanying you in his stead. May we Vanders be of great service. What's wrong? Our group is pretty stacked for this, so I don't think you need to worry. I am worried, but not about that. We all refrained from voicing our concerns yesterday, but you're not going to take on too much to compensate for what those soldiers said, are you? The ones from the underground. <sighs> you're a filthy traitor, Acid Chevalier! So many of us joined the army to follow in your footsteps, only for you to trample all over our ambitions. You couldn't possibly understand the frustration of those who died in that war, or even those left behind. It's time you took responsibility for your actions. <sighs> it's true. Their words did affect me. They reminded me that for some, the war never really ended. Try to see them as the exception they are. Exactly. That isn't your fault, Reen. I know. But it's also not something I can turn a blind eye to. It's only by understanding one another that we will be able to move forward. At least, that's what I think now. We just don't want to let that consume you. Everyone in the Imperial Army bears that responsibility. Myself included. 
None of us here want you to shoulder that burden alone. Isn't that right? Altina? Muse? Oh, absolutely. Class 7 is and will always be about supporting one another. I think they've echoed my sentiments. Well then, have a safe journey. If there are answers to be found in Nord, then I know you'll find them. Thanks. Keep us in your thoughts. There you are. I hope the trip wasn't too tiring. Oh! And here I thought we'd be getting here first. We just happened to be on the train right before yours. I'm glad you all arrived safely. And long time no see, Lieutenant Colonel. Likewise. It's reassuring to have you with us. We heard about the attempted coup from Major Revelt. It must have been so hard for you, Reen. You're kind of worry, but I'm fine. Better than fine now that you're both here. All I have to do is see your face, and it's like my heart feels a little lighter. <laughs> then it was worth it, huh? But there's no river I wouldn't cross to find you if you needed me. Though magic makes it simple enough to skip the river crossing route if there was an emergency. So don't you forget that all you have to do is call and I'll be right there. Thanks. I won't. But boy, I'm still finding it hard to believe we have two Rufuses running around now. I'll cross my fingers the lead from the literal lesser of two evils pays off, but we still need to be smart about our approach. Agreed. There's no telling what could happen. That's all the more reason why we appreciate your and Lady Mildeen's attention to this matter. Oh, I'm more than happy to give it. Where's Gaius, by the way? He's gotten a head start investigating in the Highlands, I believe. A soldier gave us a message saying he intends to convene with us at the settlement. I see. Then we'll head his way once we've greeted the person in charge here. I believe he's someone you know? Colonel Dalton of the 23rd Armored Division. Yes. I haven't seen him since his division took stewardship of the gate after the war. Oh, right. It was the 7th that was in charge of Zender up until last year. The 23rd was one of the new divisions created for the war, wasn't it? Indeed. With all the changes underway in the army, the 23rd has no general at present. But I hear the Colonel's done a stellar job of keeping the division unified in the absence of one. He sounds like someone who'd more than cooperate with her investigation, at least. I've already informed him of our arrival. We should go and see him right away. Listen, Reen. Don't go biting off more than you can chew. Being an instructor doesn't mean you have to be the strong one in the group 24-7. I didn't have to be because you were there for me. So that means you don't have to be because I'll be there for you. At least I'll try to be. <sighs> you just get it, don't you? Thank you. That makes me feel a lot better. Good. Welcome to Zendergate. I've been looking forward to your arrival. I am Dalton, acting commander of the 23rd Armored Division.
it's breathtaking. Nothing I've heard could have prepared me for just how truly beautiful it is. It's your first time here, huh? It is. I've been really looking forward to it. If only the other three could be here to see it. Words don't do it justice. They really don't. I wish I could have let you first see it under lighter circumstances. <laughs> it feels like only yesterday that we came here as part of our field studies. It's moving to think that this is where our ancestor took up arms to fight at Dreykel's side. It's held a special place in my heart beyond our ancestry since our uncle and I were stationed here. Regardless, I will make for the Watchtower and set about gathering information there. You should stick to your original plan and reunite with Gaius at the settlement. I'm alright with that, but are you sure it's wise to go alone? I think it'd be better if I came with you. <laughs> I know how capable you are, Kurt, but there's no need to worry about me. As a soldier, I'll have a much easier time operating in a military facility. Should anything happen, however, I will be in touch. Take care. I hope he's going to be all right. I imagine that the Prince's disappearance must be weighing heavily on him. I had the chance to briefly speak with him about that on the train, actually. I wanted to accompany them on their honeymoon, but Olivier insisted I not go. I got the impression he wanted to give me some time off to honor the war's end. Of all the times, that idiot had to go and put my needs first. Right, let's go! Ready when you are! Yeah! Amazing. I've never seen planes so vast. It's like we're afloat in a sea of green. Words can't do justice to its beauty. <laughs> we had the same reaction as students. I like it even more now that there aren't as many monsters as before. Yeah, the armored division's done a bang-up job keeping the highlands clean. Now we can ride straight through. Yeah! Let's begin! Get a bit spicy! 
Get cuter as I level. I've only just begun. Yeah. Right, let's go. Ready when you are. Yeah. Ha! Right, let's go. Ready when you are. Easy now. now. Brace yourself. Uh. Spirit unification. It's my turn. Kane Dale. It's down. Let's, Let's go, go, everyone! Understood! Understood! Understood. <laughs> there! <laughs> it's my turn. All for one? And, and one, one for all! All, all at once! <laughs> <laughs> this is the power of love! Nice! That'll do it! I've only just begun! 